Welcome back to Living Local. The Niabi Zoo continues its conservation speaker series on May 7th. And joining us in the studio is Dr. Greg Rasmussen from Painted Dog Research Trust and Living Local's very own Joel Vanderbush from Niabi Zoo, who's on the show all the time. But he was on the show back in February after returning from a, a month with Dr. Greg in Zimbabwe. That's And that was such a cool segment. So thank you so much for coming on. Of course. But let's remind the audience and the viewers that missed that what yeah. you were doing in Zimbabwe. Well, the great thing is that we've had this conservation partnership going for at least five years, our sixth year now. Mm -hmm. Six. And uh, when we were able to go out and get some field work, we were tracking painted dogs and, yeah. you know, collecting and putting out camera traps and collecting those images. But the primary reason that we went was really to help them establish a bush camp. Okay. So we, of course, have zoo camps here at Niami mm -hmm. Zoo, and they wanted to be able to do some community education with their uh, students in yeah. local schools. And so we helped build a bush camp and design all the curriculum and train their educators yeah. and all of that. And how, and Dr. Greg, how was that? How important was that trip you oh, know, for him to come all the way out there? Absolutely fundamental. Yeah. To us. I mean, you know, we have our own educators, but mm -hmm. to pull it all together. Yeah, he's that, the guy. That's right? where this man came <laughs> in. You know, he's run, done this before. He pulls it all together, mm -hmm. and 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 that just—it was a game changer. Yeah, yeah absolute yeah. game changer. And now we have a program. Now, now we're on fire. I mean, we're not <laughs> saying we don't need him, but no, you know. that's that's well, one of those where you, 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 I mean, we're coming up with our own dance moves. Yeah, of right, course, right. of course you are. Yeah, 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 and every every program it changes a bit, and they say we can do this better, we can do that better, yeah. we can do that better. Mm -hmm. And you're running those how many times a month now? Two, two camps a month, and they're three wow. or four days. So yeah. he was a vital uh, oh, step oh, in this, huh, wasn't he? That's, yeah. why, that's why we're partners and it, friends. We were also <laughs> able to get that funded through the Jane Goodall Institute, oh, so cool. uh, their foundation helped yeah. to fund those camps. And so mm -hmm. let's talk about the, the camera traps you mentioned, sure. those. Uh, you know, what are those used for, and, and how, you know, how does that help your research? Well, camera traps are a golden tool. First of all, they're non-invasive, so you can sure. get, study wildlife. Secondly, we, we don't only get information about what painted dogs are using the area, we get it mm -hmm. all species. So you can look at the whole ecosystem. And thirdly, we pick up poachers. Oh, so, so sure, the, that's an important you thing. Know, yeah. So the second we get any illegal activity, which like police, national parks, here we go. Yeah. Here's our information, Forestry Commission. Mm -hmm. I don't know who this miscreant is, but it's none of my business, but <laughs> sure. not, not a fa fauna or flora. Yeah. I like the use of miscreant. That's a great word that nobody uses <laughs> anymore. Right. I like that oh, word a lot. Oh, well, that's a good I'm one. being polite. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and I would imagine, you know, this research and conservation education activities have, you know, a, they have a cost, you know, and, yeah. how, and how are you offsetting that, I well, guess? Well, always, always fundraising. It's an yeah. absolute nightmare. I mean, with our prime thing we want to fund at the moment, this bush camp is so successful, we want to fund a bush camp mm -hmm. for up to 30 kids to live in. Okay. Now you've got to build, build housing, but the, you know, the biggest thing we're trying to raise funding for is the toilet facility. Okay. <laughs> but it's essential. Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> and that's, that's the biggest ticket item. Yeah, yeah. And, and, um, and, um, am I allowed to put a number on it? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're looking for about 25000 for the toilet facility. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, how can people donate to that? Is there, is there a, a there, way there, there is. To uh, they can obviously, through the Nar Narby Zoo, through sure. Joel Vanderbush, he'll organize it uh -huh. down the right route because they've got obviously their own conservation fund, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or it can go th directly through the Wildlife Conservation Network, but then it has, they have to stipulate. Yeah, we we go to their dogs. website, okay. um, so the link on our conservation page Great. takes it to paintedogresearch.org. Perfect. Uh, but the other cool thing is we have these little guys, right? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. So this Let's is this that. is snare art. Okay. Uh, so these are made from the wires that uh, poachers are putting out in the bush. Okay. And they are uh, killing animals with that. Of course, mm -hmm. they're hunting for bush meat, small antelope, sure, and things sure. like that. The same things that the painted dogs hunt. Uh, and painted dogs, unfortunately, get caught as an incidental bycatch. Uh, okay. They're not trying to trap the painted dogs, but mm -hmm. they're hunting the same thing. So they get caught in the snares and they get killed. Oh, and for sure. an endangered species, this this is a very bad thing. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to remove this uh, from from the bush, and then local artisans make I'm this into this beautiful this. artwork. Oh, Absolutely. Wow, wow, wow. And, and then there's this. And yeah, this, if you can zoom in on this little critter, this is a, a felted dog, but the mm -hmm. reason we're making these is trying to find an income generating project specifically for women, mm -hmm. and particularly the age bracket when the women in rural areas are denied education. Mm -hmm. And so they come out, and what then the next options are pretty slim and pretty poor. So the whole idea is to give them a 
skill set where they can earn some money. And I watched these talented women making these while I was yeah. there. And at first, they were just making the felt. And I'm like, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Uh -huh. And then suddenly, this pops out, right? And I'm okay. like, wow. It yeah. was astounding watching yeah. them do their the, the, work. The whole thing is it then gets them out of the poverty trap. Mm -hmm. sure. Otherwise, mm -hmm. they just succumb to being like, mm -hmm. oh, chattels of mm -hmm. yep. somebody wants to so marry both, them. So both of these pieces are available uh, for sale at okay. the zoo in our gift shop and oh, uh, through other means and uh, that goes back to supporting the work uh, that Dr. Perfect. Greg and his team are doing in wow. the wild. That's amazing. That's that's an amazing thing. So mm -hmm. if you see those mm -hmm. in the gift shop know that you know that's what those are. Yep. Well let's talk tomorrow let's talk about tomorrow's speaker series because sure. uh, let's give all the details and everything because we want to make sure absolutely. nobody misses it. That's right. So tomorrow at, uh, starting at 630 uh, from 630 to 8 roughly uh, people will be able to come out and hear great. Dr. Greg's talk uh, and about the work that we're doing. And so, the, of course, they can just go right to our website, niabc.com. Mm -hmm. On the event calendar, it's the first thing that they'll see. Perfect. Easy to click on, easy to register for. Uh, it's just $8 for, non, or for our zoo members and Perfect. $10 for non-members. High school students and college students get in for free. Oh, awesome. uh, and, of course, the funds for those go directly into our conservation fund. So it's not like a fee for the zoo, it's sure. for conservation. I love that. Hey, man, I love that, that you come on so often and, and, and spread the gospel, but also so you bring people like this in. That's right. so cool. Well, I really you. appreciate well, it's good it, man. To be here. It's yeah, nice to be and thank Don't you so I'll much. Be. Yeah, yes. thank you so <laughs> much for being here, guys. Thank you so much. All this right, is such a pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, for more information, you can visit niabizoo.com/conservation. We'll have all those details posted at ourquantcities.com.